Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to plot coordinates on a graph and how to write down coordinates from points already plotted on a graph. Before we begin, there are a few key things that we should go over. First of all, we've got a set of axes here. We've got a horizontal axis, that's the X axis, and we've got the vertical axis going up from 0 to 10, and that is the Y axis. The point at which the two axes meet is called the origin. The origin's coordinates are 0, 0. And remember to enclose that in brackets. Okay, the last thing I'll mention before we start plotting coordinates on the graph is this. Along the corridor and up the stairs. That explains the method of how we'll plot our coordinates. We'll start at the origin and we'll go along the x-axis, so along the corridor, and up the stairs. Then go vertically up the y-axis. Okay, let's start plotting coordinates. Look at the question. Plot the coordinate 5, 2. Well, we begin over at the origin and we're going to count along the x-axis, along the corridor. So we're going to count 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to go up the stairs, 2. So up vertically, 2. And we can mark our coordinate, 5, 2. Here's the next question. Plot the coordinate, 0, 2. Each coordinate has two parts. It's got an X part and a Y part. The way I remember which order these are is simply X comes before Y in the alphabet, X, Y, Z. So X comes first. This time we look at zero and we go to the origin. But we don't move along the corridor because we're already at zero. So instead we just move up the stairs and we move up the stairs to one, two. Now we can plot our coordinate. Our coordinate is on the y-axis. Zero, two. Okay, the next coordinate that we've been asked to plot is five, zero. So looking at the five, zero, we'll just label which part is x and which part is y. So we're going to go along the corridor, along the x-axis, five. One, two, three, four, five, and up the y-axis, but it's zero on the y-axis, so we don't go anywhere. Five zero is on the x-axis. We can label it just there. Okay, we've had some practice at plotting points on the graph. This time, we're already given those points, and we're asked, what's the coordinates? Well, we know straight away, or we remember, the coordinates come in brackets, and they're in two parts. They have an x part and a y part. So let's go to A to begin with. And we can go and draw a line vertically down onto the x-axis and find out, right, the x part of coordinate A is 2. And then we go across onto the y-axis and we can highlight that the y part is 3. Things to note there include the brackets. They're really important with the comma separating the x and y. And it is so, so important to remember X before Y. Remember X, Y, Z. X comes first. If you wrote it down the other way around, it's completely different. 3, 2 is not where A is. 3, 2 is actually here. Okay, let's do that again then for point B. We'll draw our brackets to begin with and the comma to separate the points out. So we'll go over to the point B and we'll drop down a line to the x-axis to see what position it's in. And we can see that there's a 7. So it's at 7 on the x-axis. And now go across to the y-axis and we can see it's at point 3 on the y-axis. So the coordinate is 7, 3. And it's always good practice just to record this neatly on the graph. So 7, 3 beside the B. Let's look at point C now. We'll go over to point C and we'll find out where on the x-axis it is by dropping a line all the way down to the x-axis. And we can see that 3 belongs to the x part of the coordinate and then over to the y-axis and it's at 7 on the y-axis. 
And again, quickly, just for point D, we can go across on the x-axis and we'll see that D is at 8. And over on the y-axis, if we go up along, we can see it's at 7, 8, 7. So here we've got each of the coordinates labelled neatly on the graph. I wonder if you were to draw a straight line to connect those points. What 2D shape has been drawn on the graph? Let's look and see. It's a parallelogram. You can see that the opposite sides are parallel and the opposite sides are of equal length. It is missing any right angles. So in other words, it looks like a slanty rectangle and a slanty rectangle is a parallelogram. Here's a typical question about plotting coordinates. Here are the coordinates for three corners of a rectangle. 1, 5, 1, 1, 7, 1. Plot the coordinates, draw the rectangle, and record the coordinates of the fourth corner. So let's begin. We'll begin by plotting the coordinates that we were given. 1, 5. We go along the x-axis to 1 and up the y-axis to 5. Along the corridor, up the stairs. The next one, 1, 1. We go along the corridor and up the stairs. And there's our second corner of the rectangle. And now the last, the third corner we're given is 7, 1. So plot the coordinates. We've done that. Now we've got to draw the rectangle. But we've only got three of the corners. Let's connect the points that we have with a straight line. And so far it looks like this. Now we've got to apply our 2D shape knowledge to work out where the fourth corner will go and to be able to draw the rectangle. So let's look at the lengths. We can see that this horizontal length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's got a length of 6. And the vertical length is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's got a measure of 4. We know that rectangles have equal opposite lengths, so we can draw in the missing lengths from the information we have. Now we can see exactly where our fourth corner belongs. And we can take the reading by reading across from the origin all the way across to 7 on the x axis, and from the origin all the way up to 5 on the y axis. So the missing corner is at 7, 5. We can also take a reading of the length just to check. We can see that the length of this horizontal line is 1, 5, 6. And this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, has a measure of 4. And indeed, that is a rectangle.